sorry, my memory cut off when I was talking about the Wicked Witch setting up, but yeah. Uh, she was very frustrating. But the other prop that I had a hard time figuring out was the Exorcist prop. I could not find where the switch was at. I could not get her to function. I had no idea where the switch was, but it's in her left pocket, which took me about 15 minutes to find. And same with the rising rig, and I was not fascinated with her styrofoam legs that she had. That's how she broke, probably, when she lifted up. Those legs are not heavy enough to hold her down, but she took a while to find the spot to plug in, too. And the other prop was the limb ripper. He was sort of a little hard, but sort of easy because I got him and set him up. It took me a while, though, but it was all good. But let me tell you one thing about spirits and their props. It's about techie toys. Techie toys basically works for spirits. They basically own them. Well, sort of. I'll tell you what I mean. When they ship display props, they ship them in brown boxes. And they're already halfway assembled, so you don't have to do as much of the work as a customer does when they buy them. Like, for example, this howler right here was the spirit display that Techie Toy sent in that brown display box. When I took him out of the box, his body was already snapped on to his module. All I had to connect was his hands, adapter. They even sent, they send adapters with their props, every one of them, and they send a foot pad activator so we don't have to use our own. They send everything they need with them, but not the customer ones. That one I had to put on the body and the legs, and it doesn't come within a foot pad activate, activator, but that one does. The displays are totally different. Techie Toys sends almost halfly assembled props to spirits. They say they're made stronger so that they can be more rough housed with because they know kids come in and play with them, but I don't think they're more durable, really. There's no difference between these, the display model and this. There is a small difference with the display jump ups, jumping zombie and the customer jumping zombie. The reason, you know how I was doing a setup video of him and I couldn't figure out how to snap the head on? It had that twist lock or whatever. It looked like I had no idea how to set up. It looked like I was, I was almost lying that I set up the display. But the reason I had no idea that I had that was because his body is already screwed in to his module. You don't have to connect his body on this display. It was already mainly set up. Even his screens you didn't have to connect in the display model. And these do. Like the screens on the spiders. Those are already connected. They're screwed in to the module on the display. But the customer one, you have to do it all yourself. So it helps it go a lot faster. And I was surprised at that. I do think it should be equal, though. Sort of, because cause they're just making it easy on us. <laughs> but yeah, but none of the other companies send those kind of preps. But Techie Toys, I can't believe they do all that for spirits. That's why they're really taking over now. I think spirits is not even letting other companies really join in that as much anymore either. They've seemed to really bond with